Well, we all know the financial burdens the government shutdown is having on furloughed workers and businesses. We've been talking about that. But what will be the final tally when it comes to the cost of the shutdown? Steve Shanavy live now from Capitol Hill with the numbers that he found. Steve. And it keeps going up and up and up as more things become clear. Two things in particular. One is it's going to take economic pressure to solve this standoff. And the other thing is the shutdown is certainly going to be blamed for economic loss. We're talking about everything from payroll to tourism to home sales to people simply not spending what they do have. We want to work. Stop the going shutdown. We want to work. For government workers, the cost of the shutdown is twofold. It hurts America and it hurts them personally. People are not getting paychecks and it's beginning to have home families, mortgages, and children. We can't stand as much more. 25-year government employee Clifford Lowry knows for his furloughed colleagues, financially, things will get worse before they get better. Agnes Brooke is still getting paid, but sympathizes with those who are not, believing the government shutdown will end up costing America money in the long run. I think it's going to cost simply because when the employees go back to work, they're going to need their back pay for all the money they've lost. Agreements. And she may be right. Douglas Holtz Aiken is a former director of the Congressional Budget Office and chief economist of the President's Council of Economic Advisors. From the budget point of view, it costs the government money. It's costly to shut down an agency. It's costly to start an agency back up. So how much are we talking if the stalemate ended now? Holtz Aiken, who is now president of the American Action Forum, says forget millions. We're talking billions of dollars in losses because of the disagreement on Capitol Hill. This one would probably be three, four billion dollars. It's a bigger government and years have passed since then. So this will cost us money. There's no way around that. A figure sure to grow until Congress compromises and workers like Lowry can get back on the job. We don't have nothing to do with that struggle. We want to work. And keep in mind, that figure only relates to costs due to the government shutdown and does not have anything to do with any impact of breaching the debt ceiling. That would have a much greater impact on our nation's economy. Live at the Capitol, Steve Shenevy, News, uh, ABC 7 News. Uh